It's not always possible to get a second chance at success, especially as a professional athlete. But 18 years after her first tennis Grand Slam semifinal, Mariana Lotrich Baroni, I hope I said that right, uh, was in the semifinals of the Australian Open last weekend, and she was doing fantastic. Now she's home in Sarasota for a visit with her family, and we are so thrilled that you stopped by. Thank you so much for having me. What did it feel like there at the Australian Opens? It was incredible. It was uh, after such a long time to be at that stage, playing the best players in the world, playing Serena Williams, one of our greatest champions of the game. It was an amazing experience for sure. Wow. They were not intimidating you. No, I, we've known each other for 20 years plus, so um, it's not quite the same as it appears on TV for mm -hmm. other people. We know each other very well, but uh, to be on a stage on a center court full of people, it's, it's an incredible feeling. Now you're from Croatia and you were a star as a young child, one of the most promising tennis players in the world. Then you took a break for a while. How hard was it to come back? Uh, I took a little break. Uh, unfortunately, yes, uh, uh, it was quite difficult to come back. Uh, it's not so easy after five years to jump right back mm -hmm. into into such a competitive, such a high elite uh, mm -hmm. competitive uh, sport. And it took a few years of a lot of struggle, a lot of small tournaments, a lot of losing, and a lot of really difficult oh. times. Did to, you to know or did you expect the outcome? Uh, I have to say, I mean, I always knew I could do it, but mm -hmm. until you actually do it, until you're back at that stage, reaching semifinals of a Grand Slam, it's difficult to say that, you know. It's, you, I always knew deep down that I could and probably will be there again, but once I was there, that moment is almost like I never believed it could happen. It's, it's wow. really, it's, it's an incredible, indescribable feeling. And so you've just really started, though. You're just on the way of your comeback, right? At my ripe old age, it's <laughs> almost 35. Oh, yes, she's uh, a kid. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite uh, extraordinary because at my age, usually people are either retired or are on their way of retiring. And uh, to make this success now and break my career high is, uh, is really quite a, quite a great accomplishment that I'm very proud of. But you know what shape you're in. You can do it, right? We're talking about accomplishment because, look, you're moving up in the rankings. Right now, you're really pretty high. 29th? 29th in the world, yes, that's my career best. But and what is uh, this ranking? This has to do with Singapore. This is a road to Singapore. At the end of the year, we have this tournament. It's, it's a tournament of champions at the end of the year. So every, uh, players who have played, eight best players of the year play it. Oh, eight go. Okay. And uh, right now, I'm on the list. So Ooh. hopefully, I will continue well yeah. and continue oh. being there. And that would be a dream, obviously. Well, just to mention the significance of how far you went last weekend. What yes. were you ranked before the Australian Open in the world, and what are you ranked yes. now? 79. 79 nine before. before, and, and now, now 29. That's 29th amazing. in the That's world. Crazy. Quite a jump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tell us about your Sarasota family now. Well, this has been my home uh, since 1998. Oh. Um, I married here, my mom, my two sisters. My two brothers are in Connecticut, but um, uh, my two sisters, uh, my sister's daughter and a son, we are a very close family. Uh, we love Sarasota. I love Sarasota. I've been here forever. Uh, I met my husband here and um, He has a little restaurant, adore. right? He has a little restaurant. He has Mediterranean and Epicure. Um, I'm there most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not on a tennis court, I'm in the restaurant so, eating. So you're still playing <laughs> tennis, though? Yes, 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 absolutely. Ooh. And um, yeah, I love Sarasota. I, um, it's definitely where I want to stay, raise a family. It's beautiful. Right now in January, February, it is heaven on earth. When's your next match? Um, I'm a couple of weeks. I have to recover. I had a little bit of a leg injury in Australia, oh. so I have to recover a little bit, and I start in two, three weeks again. Okay. Oh, we can't wait to cheer yes. for you. <laughs> Thank you. This is so exciting. Thank we you wish so you much. all the luck yes, in the we world. Do. And Thank we're you. so happy that you're on the Sun Coast. So. Thank you so yeah. much. And Thank a, you for having me. A great story of determination, too, that mm -hmm. I think every athlete and everybody can appreciate. You and know? the old never give never up. Give up. Cause never you always knew right. you had it in you. That's right. <laughs> well, next we're going to talk about the Bradenton Regatta, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.